Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are planning to come to UK as a student or if you are already in the UK, so this video is for you. So in this video, I am going to share the latest updates on student visa. The Migration Advisory Committee, they gave some suggestion to the Home Office about student visa. So if you are new, I am Dr. Vakas, I secured Commonwealth Scholarship in 2019. Before that, I got a Korean Government Scholarship for my master degree. And now I'm advising students how you can secure a fully funded scholarship or how you can apply for a student visa here in UK. So that's why you must subscribe my YouTube channel. So even I need your favor. I was just looking my YouTube analytics and it shows 85% people they just watch my video and they don't subscribe. So that's why I wanna request you please subscribe my YouTube channel. Let's talk about the latest updates on student visa. First, you have to understand about student visa here in UK. So if you are coming as a master student, you get one year master visa, master student visa. So during your studies, you can work 20 hours legally and during off time, like in summer or in the vacation, you can work full time. But after graduation, so UK government uh, give like two years work permit after master and three years work permit after a PhD. So after your graduation, you are allowed to work here you can independently uh, do anything like you can start your own business or you can work anywhere if you are not getting any sponsorship you don't need any sponsorship after your graduation uh, you can work on your psw or we call it as a graduate visa so you know for the few um, years a lot of students came in uk so after uh, considering these things the UK government decided maybe to reduce this uh, PSW or maybe they are going to stop this graduate visa. But uh, recently, uh, just yesterday, they announced the, this Migration Advisory Committee. They are suggesting to the Home Office because uh, they already put some restriction like if you are coming with master, so you are not allowed to come with your dependent. Even this is only allowed for PhD. So if you are coming as a PhD student, so you are allowed to come with the dependent. So they already put some restriction on master degree. So that's why the number of students that's come to UK is dropped. So that's why uh, the UK government decided maybe they are keeping as it is like if you are a master. So after master, you are allowed two year work permit. And similarly, if you are in PhD, so after PhD, you are allowed a three years work permit. So that's a great news. So if you are planning or already you plan to come to UK, so that's a great news for you. Like after your graduation, so you don't need any sponsorship. And that's like two years or three years, you can work independently, you can start your own business, or you can do anything here in UK and you can settle easily with during these two or three years uh, period. So that's why you don't need to worry about that just go ahead if you already decided or if you are planning to decide just decide and apply for student admission and then student visa for student admission or student visa uh, if you need any help here is my whatsapp number so you can contact me through whatsapp and can book one-to-one -one session and in our one-to-one -one session we can sit together and decide which are the best option for you or which option you have to choose like which university you have to select so these all things we can discuss in our one-to-one -one session i already have the list of the universities they are giving a hundred percent like discount and also you can get some uh like scholarship on the on that universities so if you are interested so you can book your one-to-one -one session and thank you so much for watching this video so if you have any question or comments you can put or you or you can uh, contact me through whatsapp thank you see you in next video